Hi there, in this video I'm gonna quickly show you how to set up a custom domain for your ConvertKit landing page so it keeps your pages looking much nicer and neater when people land on them rather than using the custom domain that they give you. You gotta focus on what's real, man. So here we are on the site. I am uh, inside ConvertKit and I've built a little landing page. Now what I'm doing, I'm pulling over some stuff from a different website which I just wanna have a landing page set up. I have other landing pages built on my main site um, using WordPress and this one I, I want to change a few links. So I came into ConvertKit to just test out the landing page tool that they've got and I've built a page here and I'm just going to publish it. And when you publish it you can have the option to choose a domain name. You can see the domain name here. Um, it looks like this and it says uh, my DF publishing and then ck.page which looks pretty ugly. You can actually customize your domain name as well so you can actually change what this name is beforehand um, and then you can put in a, something, some text afterwards to make it you know, be more relevant to the page it is. Or you can click on account settings and add in a custom domain. Now for me personally I prefer using the custom domains because they look much nicer uh, you just then got to come up with a name that suits your brand. Now this name here, you can actually change this. For example, I could change my ConvertKit page name to look like that. So it'd be davidfrosdick.ck page. If I save that, um, that would then change all of your landing pages if you change this. Now, I don't actually have any landing pages in here, so um, it doesn't matter that I've gone ahead and changed that. If I publish it, it's probably not changed over here yet. It hasn't, okay? So that's the domain name, but actually what I want to do um, one thing ConvertKit have done is you know, they've now you can create these creator profiles, and that's what this page actually looks like. And then you can actually go and set a home page for your creator profile page, which is this. If someone lands on whatever your word is .ck page, um, so if they actually were to type that in, that's when it lands up with your profile page. So that's probably worth doing if you use. Um, ConvertKit landing pages. But one thing I want to do is build a custom domain like this. So for a custom domain, because I have a primary domain like davidfrosick.com where all my traffic goes to and my blog and stuff, um, for my ConvertKit landing pages I want to have something different. So you might choose like a subdomain, something like downloads, training, free, um, it can be anything else that you want to have that's relevant to a collection of all the different pages you use. So for example, I have on my main site free.davidfrosick.com and I do a lot of my landing pages that I build in Optimize Press there and I have them under the subdomain. So I can't use free, um, so I might use something like download or training, and then any pages that I build inside ConvertKit would use that subdomain, like training.davidfrosick.com forward slash in the name of the landing page that I build. Um, so you could think of something different you want to use. You could just use a letter if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't really matter. You could use something like um, downloads, gifts, uh, training, free, courses. You might already use a course platform where you're using a subdomain like courses. So just got to think of how you're going to use this. I'm going to use training. So if I build any page with um, any landing page in ConvertKit, they're all going to have that training.davidfrosick.com. So it's up to you what you want to choose. Um, I'm going to type in training and I put in training.davidfrosic.com like that. Um, so what I have to then do is go over to my domain management tool like GoDaddy and I'm gonna have to create a this subdomain which points to ConvertKit. So we'll do that um, in a moment here. So I've put my domain name. I'm not gonna choose the homepage. I'm not worried about that. I can come back and actually build a, I might build another homepage later in here just because they have this um, profile, create a profile option. But anyway, I click next um, and it tells me here I need to go and add these um, A records inside of GoDaddy. So here I am inside of GoDaddy here. If I scroll on down, I've got a lot of records for my name, so I can add a new one here, and I'll choose a record, like so, and then uh, my host is gonna be training, because that's what the subdomain is, so we put that in there, and then we copy this uh, value, this IP address, which we put into there, and we click Save. I'll leave the hour at default, you don't need to um, worry too much about that, unless you're specific on the times. Um, so that's the next one we're doing, we'll copy that again training and then you've got this other one save and then add it again so we'll do another one a record and it's going to point to training you can type it in if you want and then we'll copy this and go back to GoDaddy like so and click save now we've done all those they'll probably appear at the top here and the a record list you can usually you can usually see them as well I've got two pages so um, you can see I've got training and training 
Uh, and then we go here and we click validate. And you can see it says double check the DNS records, but no, it can take 24 hours. So usually this will probably take about five minutes, I reckon. Um, so what I'll do is I'll pause this video and come back. But you can see I've done it. Now behind the screen there, you can see, um, interestingly, it says validation failed, validate. But down here, you can see it's also showing it as verified. So if I go back, um, you can see on the page training.ofrosic, it says it's verified, so it's pretty much happened instantly. Um, so what I would do here probably is, Let's just click on this link here just to get away from this page. Uh, this is that creator profile that I was talking about. Um, when it loads up, you can put in your own profile page. If I go back to domains, I can now double check that this is um, verified. Let's just go on down. Okay, it says here, um, show DNS records, and then it shows that domain training dot davidfrosley.com and it's verified. Now you can add multiple custom domain. So when every time you build a landing page and you go to go back to the landing page and you go to the settings, once you've created your domain, you can see it's now showing here, look, training at Deofrosic. So this page is now going to use that domain name. So you can actually add multiple custom domains if you have different projects and things you're working on, you have different landing page for that. Um, so you, really what you can do is create a subdomain um, for every different type of landing page that you have inside of ConvertKit and you can then choose which domain those landing pages use. So mine's going to use that and then what I'll type in here is 40, um, I'll see if it puts the spacing in for me. So if I click add, um, it's, if I save it, I'm just going to save it, uh, the URL, I've got an error down the bottom there, I'm not going to worry about that. So let's just try this again and my guess is that I need to put in dashes like that. Okay, and that's worked. URLs for this landing page are that. And if I could save that, if I then go to publish, you can see um, it's not, let's save that again. It's not changed there, which is, um, let's go back to my settings. Um, it's not changed there, so that's odd. Let's go back to domain names. Um, what I'm going to do is let's refresh this page. It might just need to be refreshed because I've I've done the domain name and everything as I was um you know building the page. So let's just see what it does now. Let's go back into settings, domain name. It's oh there it is. It's now showing you the URLs for this domain name are here. Um, if I click on that, or it's, okay, it's just doing this. So it's showing here that my this SSL is not secure. Now that might just be because I've literally done the domain name and they're going to, the SSL has to be installed. It usually happens automatically by ConvertKit. I'm gonna come back and obviously check on that. Let's go back to the page and I'll just check the publish option here. Uh, you can see now it's actually showing the correct here because since I've refreshed the page. So let's copy that and then go and preview it. We'll probably get that privacy error again, so your connection is not secure. And my guess is once you add a custom domain, they just have to install the um, the SSL has to get installed on the site. So if I just remove the S from there, see what it says now. It looks like okay, still it's forcing the SSL to load on this page. So if I go back to here, one thing I didn't actually read is when you add a custom domain, it might say it takes. Um, a little while for the SSL to be installed. So that's how you add the custom domain and you can add custom domains for every landing page. And as you see, when you go to settings, you can choose all the different custom landing pages that you have or custom domains that you have that you want to use for that page. Um, and you can see here, I can obviously delete this as well and change the URL or the domain name for this particular landing page. Um, so that's how you do it. I'm just gonna wait a little bit and see if that SSL actually automatically gets installed. So I'm just gonna hold, I'll probably pause this video and we'll give it um, uh, I don't know, an hour or so and see what happens. Um, probably I'll jump over to some help articles and read if that's what the process, uh, reach out to their support and just ask them what happens. Um, but my guess is that it just has to be installed on the server, it'll be an auto process, you know, it might take a little while. Okay, so the page is now working. Um, it turns out that what you actually have to do is make sure you choose a page here for that custom domain. Now, what that means is once you choose a page, that's the page I've just made. Once you choose a page, it means if you, so this is the landing page URL, the correct URL that was set up here. Um, I did just change it and added an S on the end of that. 
which I've done. So what it means is the home page, if you remove this and just do that, that means that's still gonna load your, um, your um, landing page. Um, so that's what you're doing with the home page. Now what I would personally do is build another page and then come and select that as the home page here. That's what I'll do, I'll do that later on. <clears throat> but that page is now built up and running. I've got a custom domain set for this page and I'm gonna use the um, full URL for this particular landing page because then I can add, actually add other pages within this if I want to on that same um, domain name. So that's how you do it. That's how you set up a custom domain for your ConvertKit landing pages.